to na TV. So so today I will be discussing the update of my stay here in France. This is the fifth month that I'm here. First time I got here, I was staying with a friend of mine, Janoel. It's quite difficult to find an apartment here in France, especially if you're a foreigner because you need a lot of documents like a guarantor or a garant. Someone that will testify in case you won't be able to pay your rent, he or she can back you up. So now I have an apartment, student university apartment, but I think mine is 18 square meters. It's a studio apartment. I have my own toilet, and kitchen, mini kitchen, and one for, for the kitchen and one study table. It is 387 per month. Basically, it's really hard because I don't have a job before or let's just say a part-time job because I can't be a full-time job while I'm a student. There's some um, limitation for that. 20 hours maximum per week, but I haven't met that, so it's fine. Yeah, I have my own apartment already, which is good. Secondly, how was I able to pay for my rent and the future rent? Luckily, I found a job through Facebook. I saw some posts. So as I've said in my previous vlog with Anna, utilizing social media is very important. Also, surfing the internet, such as Indeed, that FR or LinkedIn, make connections, ask your friends about it. If they know anyone that is hiring, any jobs that you can offer your services. And of course, you need certifications, all those things. It sucks, I know, for those people that needs to provide so much documents. I think this is why we need to really invest in our skills, invest in the things that we can do if you know Adobe Photoshop. Get certification so that you can use it if you want to apply to a certain company. It's the same as getting a degree or having a diploma and showing it to them like, hey, I am certified. Thirdly, it's my second semester now. It will be ending pretty soon. Before, I wasn't that sure if I'm going to love France or Lyon specifically because living here is quite expensive especially if you're a student or you don't have any support from anyone like me. I don't have any support and thanks God I have friends. They help me through a lot of things but yes, you need to have support if you want to stay longer in France. You need to be sure of what are your next steps. Technically, I have a few months more to think of what next step. I would love to stay in France for, but the difficulties is there. For example, me currently, I'm a student and at the same time, I'm working as a part-timer. In my case, I need to have a certain certificate. I have to take the auto-entrepreneur uh, status. I was advised by my employer. Currently, right now, I'm in student visa. I need to finish first my diploma and only after then I can decide if I should be extending my visa as a student should I continue my studies because it is much easier for the documents for filing an extension to the prefecture wherein it can extend your visa for how many more months. Second option is the work visa. However, there's a, a big possibility if you are a non-EU citizen you have to get out of the country and apply to another country like what i did back in singapore i applied there i got the visa there and then that's the only time i was able to legally be a student here however i am still in question if it's possible if i can do a freelance visa it is the same as work visa but slightly different because work visa is salaried like monthly it's a fixed contract however for the freelance visa it is the same as what i'm doing right now it is per hour so i get paid like only when i have a class so i am not obliged to work like every day or certain hours that i need to fulfill once i get the details further to add information then i can update you all now i have a lot of clarifications i'm still not sure until now however i am very happy that i was able to live here in france and i am still currently living here is the uh, quality of life is 100% what I wanted in life. <laughs> they are very laid back compared to any other countries that I lived in before. They take care of like their social life. They balance it, like, work, social life. 
they might get busy at some point but at the same time they know and they should rest not all countries or employers actually live like that in a certain country it's like if you're physically tired it is much easier to be honest but if you're mentally tired it's like shut down here it's just chill you know people are very considerate if you're busy fine okay if you can't go to a party a company party or so because you have this na 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 and they wouldn't really bother pushing you to like hey no you need to come but that's how it is here in in Leon, France so far. I hope that all of you are considering to come here in France. Be a student here at the same time, maybe work in the future. Those who loves quality of life, I mean, who doesn't, right? Then France is for you. For that's the update from me. I'll have another vlog. Uh, we're still doing it. It's about cost of living here in France and uh, this will definitely help a lot of viewers to have an idea the, uh, how much the budget that you should prepare yourself is expensive I'd say you have to save up and prepare yourself for the expenses here if you have any more questions just put comments your comments below or suggestions and I'll try to make a video about it either with me or with a friend so that I can do specific answers or details have a good day everyone au revoir bonne journée